One of the most ambitious and delicately crafted mods for Halo is coming out with a new update. Halo Combat Revolved is the mod. The creators are named Rosie Muscovy and Connor Don. This is the demo that contains three playable levels to give you a sense of where the update for the mod is going gameplay-wise and aesthetically. This level, the library, which we all love so much, we can see this is going to be much more sinister. The dark, rich red lights signifies the outbreak of the flood, while the dark blue light from 343 Guilty Spark mixes with the surrounding light, bathing you in this cold, looming purple hue, as if foreshadowing your own doom. This mod originally made this level feel darker and changed many blue lights from retail to a bleak amber. But this environment for this update is now much more imposing than ever before. However, that doesn't mean that this level becomes more tedious on each difficulty mode. The darker environment won't get you lost necessarily, it's not going to be more difficult to traverse this location. In fact, this level is now more fun in its gameplay, along with admiring its new, hellacious look. The weapons in this mod are improved considerably, and the many flood forms will charge you. Therefore, you are having an easier time pushing through the level, rather than having almost all elite and human flood forms shoot at you from a distance. You'll be switching between your shotgun and the very effective flamethrower to eviscerate the flood. Once you make it to the location where you can pick up two different sentinel beams, you'll have to make the tough decision on which weapon you give up. But rest assured, there are plenty of flood infected humans and elites that will likely try to take you down with a shotgun, so you'll have their spare ammo that you can take from them later on in the level. Here come the party hats. The sentinel beams, especially the one that's red that you see here, is really effective against the flood. You also get to fight alongside with what I like to call the sentinel spiders. These things are really cool as they distract the flood and they take care of them rather quickly. Check this out. It's the green tactical eyepiece on this Unicy Marine that's been infected. <laughs> Spooky. Let me go ahead and zap that off. There we go. The library in this mod is frantic, but it's fun. However, I did play on normal and heroic difficulty. If you play on legendary, good luck. Whatever difficulty you decide to play on, keep your eyes out for this brute plasma rifle. It was really neat coming across as I didn't expect the brute plasma rifle to be in this mod. I can't get over how cool the lighting in this environment looks. It makes me wonder what the creators have planned for the room in which you meet the flood for the first time in the level 343 Guilty Spark. I think there's a few possible ways they can go about it, but I can't wait to see what they come up with. Now let's go aboard the Pillar of Autumn. You're seeing it here. This is an ODST in the game of Halo Combat Evolved. Of course, this is the mod Halo Combat Revolved. Still, we are seeing a detailed ODST that conforms with the armor art style of Halo Combat Evolved. This looks awesome. Seeing this for the first time was a nice little special moment that I just had to make a video about it. You can tell this is an ODST not only from the distinct helmet, but also the black armor plates and uniform underneath, as opposed to the look of the full Battle Rattle Marine. Sir, the captain needs you on the bridge ASAP. Better follow me. Here we can see the difference between the two. I think it would be neat to be decisive on when Marines and ODSTs are deployed throughout the campaign. Instead of Unicy Marines at the start of Truth and Reconciliation, how about being deployed with a squad of ODSTs to rescue Captain Keys? If you need reinforcements before going into the belly of the beast, then Fohammer can drop off one more squad of ODSTs. 
any remainder reinforcements needed inside of Truth and Reconciliation, Fohammer will then drop off a squad of Marines. Seeing both Marines and ODSTs fight alongside one another would be pretty sweet, I think, in Halo Combat Revolved. But I do believe ODSTs should be used sparingly. So other than Truth and Reconciliation and here in the Pillar of Autumn, I think we should see ODSTs deployed in one other level, that being the Silent Cartographer. That's just my suggestion. It's just fun to think about these things. By the way, that ODST there with the sniper rifle here in the Pillar of Autumn, if that was intentional, I think that's a callback to Romeo from Halo 3 ODST. When Gunny Sergeant Buck gives him the sniper rifle, Romeo asks, What am I supposed to do with this inside a Covenant ship? If that's not the intention, well, we'll just act like it is. You have to play this mod to really understand the gameplay improvements. To describe it, it's much faster, much more aggressive, and the AI, both friendlies and enemies, are much more competent in using their firearms. The entire game feels like it's at a professional level in this mod, meaning the game doesn't try to preserve you, the player, nor your enemies. The rules are already set from the beginning. There's no artificial changes to make the game more challenging or easier for you, the player. That's the first time a grunt has ever punched me. Interesting. Here you can notice the accuracy of the assault rifle and the zoom capability that is very helpful within this mod. You'll notice the screen shake to embellish recoil that is found within this more powerful assault rifle that's much more accurate. There's an example of heavy objects being displaced based off of their relative size and weight. Those barricades do move in Halo 2, but they are stationary in the retail version of Halo Combat Evolved. I love the speed of this mod. It's very grounded. There aren't any gimmicks, it's very straight to the point, and you understand what you have available to you as the player, which is two weapons, friendly AI, if they're still alive, and your skills gap relation to the difficulty setting. Whoa. Outside the window, you can see the Merciless Covenant. And inside, jackals with assault rifles? Oh my. There's an elite that I think has a special needler of some sort, but I have yet to find it and pick it up in this demo. The Master Chief's armor looks more defined and has richer color all around, and the body armor itself is slightly reflective. I like it. I think it looks nice. You ready to go to Halo? Here we go. This place looks beautiful in this mod. You always do, Cortana. Just like in the previous version of this mod, Banshees will explode into a cloud of plasma. Here is the accuracy of the assault rifle in action. More vegetation has been added to this map. There's been additional tree stumps and boulders put in place to make the entire location feel a little bit more natural. I thought the environment for the original version of this mod was really good, but this is just incredible. The Forerunner structures look even more ancient in this sunrise environment.
Here's one of the covenant crates that's movable. And here's some more. I did try to push the crate into one of the covenant foes, but it was a little tricky. So our warthog was looking a little smoky, and this is when I thought, you know what? It might blow up in this mod. Remember, in Halo Combat Evolved Retail, the warthog does not blow up. But in this mod, Smooth now. it does. And it looks like the mod creators incorporated some of Halo 2's modeling of a destroyed warthog. The Covenant's accuracy from long distance is pretty remarkable. This jackal is one arm wielding an assault rifle. Damn straight. You may have noticed I've been driving around the Gauss Warthog, but it is not a Gauss cannon that is attached to the back. I imagine that they are still working on the Gauss cannon for this mod. It gets a little tricky to snipe from the passenger seat of this Warthog while the turret is rocking and rolling. But once it settled down, things seemed a little too quiet. Uh oh. Incoming! There it is! And check this out in the sky. It's a phantom. Go ahead and download this demo from the link in the description of this video.